established beliefs. Today, when the pace of work has overtaken every office space, there is a need for someone not saddled with the mundane to take a detached bird's eye view to provide unbiased advice. This places tremendous responsibility on think tanks to live up to the expectations of its citizens at large. Gentlemen, think tanks are the need of the hour, especially for a security apparatus facing as many divergent challenges as the Indian police. In fact, we need several think tanks to address the vast landscape of Indian policing. BPRND has been leading the intellectual torch to remain ahead of our present and future challenges. We are confident that the Bureau will continue to grow from strength to strength in keeping us abreast with the changing times to enable the Indian police to live up to its constitutional duties towards the nation and our citizens. Wish you all the best in the endeavor and Jai Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, now I request Dr. A.P. Maheshwari, DG BPRND, to give his concluding remarks. This is time to conclude the Visionary Summit. And before that, I'll request audience to give a big applause to Mr. Amitabh Khan and Mr. S.P. Singh. Both of them, both of them, have rightly covered the domains they were requested to. And let me inform that we, in collaboration with Niti Ayo, the BPRND, and BPRND, I take BPRND as a representative of all the police forces. We integrate the resources of all the police forces. And therefore, we are happy to take the project with them for evolving the benchmark for modernization of police. The benchmark for the delivery of police services. What should be the benchmark for the delivery of police services? And from there, we should evolve the benchmark of ranking the states in the anti-terrorist measures, or say, the measures taken for uh, people-friendly policing. We'll be developing various benchmarks, and we are happy. Similarly, we have developed CCTNS, but uh, they have the great repository, great knowledge bank, of various IT companies who are working in the smart cities. So Mr. Kant has already agreed to assist us in you know, using CCTNS, having value addition, and developing mobile-friendly apps which can the citizens use and which can be you know, uh, logged on to the CCTNS backbone. So these will be definitely, why am I saying that today when we talk of empowering the policeman, the PDA, the mobile which we have, we can also give him a PDA where he has the, all the data. He can quickly access whatever he wants. Even the training sessions, we don't, don't have to hold separately. Whatever information he needs on any law, on any practice, any SOP, it will be available to him on just click of the button. Such is the power of that, to so such sort of empowerment. When we talk of, we were earlier had a discussion that in, in abroad, there's a lean and thin policy structures when a single constable controls, why? Because he has a data on his mobile, who is the vehicle, vehicle owner, whether he's telling the truth or not telling the truth. He's linked to the next mobile when next to it, and the control room knows who is moving where. And if anything is being done in a suspicious manner, then all the mobiles in the town know. So these type of integrations, when we are talking of empowering, because it is very essential that today, we are not analyzing the work of the constable or the people at the cutting edge level. There's no work analysis, so he's working around the clock in his own way because he's not been educated to use the technology. So we have the two way owners, number one, to educate him to use the technology, empower him with the technology. And number two, we make the systems lean and thin. So similarly, because we cannot keep on increasing the numerical, numerical means more of the same type of cops. So these type of changes we are discussing, there will have to be some transformational studies, how the other countries transformed, and I think we'll get the support from the 
government for that. Like he said, how the Sweden transformed the systems which are appearing there. We might have to study a few systems and how the transformation took place there. So we get it. So this is the new agenda with which we had the visionary summit. And with, uh, we are also planning, with the government has also agreed to restructure BPRD to take over all these jobs. We have already gone ahead with that. We will also need your formal, informal feedback. Whatever out of your experience, kindly write to me, send it to us, any one of us in BPRD. Any idea about the restructuring so that we are looking for a vibrant BPRD to take over so that the Indian police can have the systemic change we are thinking of. And we are thinking in terms of empowering each constable techni technologically as well as look after his welfare measures. Because right now what is happening that there is no job analysis at this level and we are imposing for anything we have a new enactment and that the new onus is going to him. Not many resources are going. Uh, I mean the states are not doing and what Mr. Amitabh Kant has said that when we have that ranking of the states probably that will be a motivation to all of us. So we have to be to think as citizens of the country and all citizens have to think as a policeman and let me, uh, let me also inform the house that we are following the approach of integrating all the knowledge partners, all the citizens, all the IITs, all the IAMs with BPRND, and we are also looking forward to a big uh, session, a conference national level, which we have already proposed to MHA, and uh, it is at the final stage of being approved, where we will having it in the Vigyan Bhavan, and we will have all the people at the partner, and there, we are even going to the extent of calling you know, acid attack victims, we are also going to call various victims and trying to know what exactly they are feeling. We are saying something in our figures and we are applauding ourselves. But how does, whether it is translating, what is the feedback? So it will be a good interaction and I believe that unless we know and accept that I have a disease, I cannot cure it. So we should be open-minded, invite suggestions that will be our future, these are our future programs. And I believe that, uh, and I am grateful to Mr. Amitabh Kant, that I had visited his office and he was exactly concerned about the same areas which we are and we are on the same page. And with this, I think there will be new impetus to the Indian police. And whatever ideas you have, I don't say that whatever plans we have right on date are perfect, but we are in the process of improvement. The life is dynamic every moment and maybe the new solutions come and as he said that many of the technologies on whom we are relying may go redundant in few years and the new technologies will come, newer technologies will come. So we are open to that. With that I thank each one of you who has been here and I am quite sure that when you go back home you will think as a citizen and send us back your suggestions in sincere, man in sincere manner and any one of you who wants to be a partner we are also opening a citizens interface forum where anybody is invited with his ideas and if you want to contribute even to my seniors the retired officers who they want to come and sit and give his idea and help us in working out various uh, parameters we would be very happy to do that thank you so much Jai Hind thank you sir Thank you.